Hello, today we're in the QC lab here at Dogfish talking about Tahankit, our ancient Egyptian beer. Uh, in front of me you see tens of thousands of dollars worth of very sophisticated equipment that we use to make our beer at Dogfish of the highest quality and consistency uh, possible. Of course, they didn't have this kind of equipment back in the days of uh, the Egyptian pyramid building when a beer very much like this was likely used as payment for the folks building uh, the pyramids. This beer is really unique for dogfish. Uh, like many of our ancient ales, it has these components that are indigenous to the area where the discoveries were made. But this one has another sort of level of authenticity because we actually went out on a date farm outside of Cairo in the shadows of the pyramids and set out these traps. And the fruit flies would, would move into these special traps uh, that we had. We would shut it and send them off to a very sophisticated lab isolated the, the wild yeast and uh, bacteria and found a great sugar uh, eating yeast from the night air in Cairo that we grew up in this lab and brewed this uh, beer with. The other indigenous ingredients uh, to this beer that we vetted with our buddy Dr. Pat McGovern uh, were a zatar, which is a mix of spices, a lot of oregano, a little bit of salt in there, traditional Egyptian spice. Um, it also has dom fruit, like a palm fruit uh, relative called dom fruit. That's uh, gives it a really neat sort of molasses and your earthy character. Um, and then, uh, what else is in here? Oh, ember bread. Like what was really neat was being in the, the, a tomb called the Tomb of Te. It showed the oldest, oldest known hieroglyph, or the oldest known artistic representation of the brewing process known to man. And what was really neat is sort of these symbols here showed that long ago, Bakers and brewers were kind of synonymous, and bread and beer were kind of synonymous. It was the nutritional sustenance that, that uh, was a huge part of people's diet. Um, so we used the emmer bread uh, to make this beer. The challenge with this beer, as we learned once we isolated the yeast, was that this ancient or, or relative on a DNA level of the ancient uh, Egyptian yeast threw a ton of sulfur notes into the nose of the beer that we thought were hiding the more complex, spicy, herbal notes of the zatar and, and the dong fruit. So uh, Tim and John, a bunch of talented MacGyver-esque brewers and, and technicians here at Dogfish, hooked up an electric, uh, an electric sort of copper anode, and we ran the beer, the entire batch of beer, through this system. And the copper actually acts as a catalyst and pulls down the sulfur content in this beer so that the other notes can shine through next to uh, the sulfur. So this is sort of uh, Franken to Hankett beer that went through a, an electric uh, process that we think you'll really enjoy when you try to Hankett. Cheers.